Hi guys, I'm gonna show you today how to assemble IKEA Thrice wardrobe. That's one here, two sliding door, four drawers. Uh, this is the new one in the more details. I have the old video, but here you can see more details. So hope you enjoy it. Let's do the job now. Starting with the side panels, we're gonna have two side panels and uh, there's gonna be two drawers on each side of this wardrobe. So two rails on each of the side panel. Secure them with the three screws. Don't forget to position the rail in the right direction. Two screws on the top of the side panel, two on the middle and two at the bottom. Secure them in till the stopper. Exactly the same on the other side panel, two at the bottom, two on the middle. Just go till the stopper stop you, don't go deeper or higher, otherwise you're not going to be able to connect the dividing panels. This is the dividing panels, so this is the bot bottom and the top one. They're going to have uh, two plastic rails. Just tap them in with the hammer, go gently on it, they're quite soft, so just tap them in. Make sure the plastic rail lining up properly with the edges of the side panels and they tapped in properly, otherwise uh, the door's gonna go a bit funny when you're gonna slide them. Two screws in the middle dividing panel. Wooden plugs, this is going to be the middle panel. And we can prepare locks and secure the middle panel with the bottom panel. Lock the locks, there's two plastic locks. Just twist the lock. This is the top panel, we can position that in. And find the right holes and place it all in. Two long screws securing the top panel with the middle panel. Can prepare all the locks to on each side position the arrow in the right direction and we can put two screws at the bottom that's going to be the connection for the drawer or drawer part of the middle so this is the middle part which is going to have two sides with two rails each rail have three screws don't forget to position them in the right direction that's important if you put them upside down you're not going to be able to put the drawers in and we can put the wooden plugs and plastic locks. Place the dividing panel for the drawers in and secure the locks. So this is the dividing part for the drawers. There's gonna be two drawers on each side. We're gonna have long metal bolt with a stopper at the bottom and on the top. Just place them in till the stopper in the bottom part of the wardrobe. That's the dividing panels. There's see four slim ones. Is one pl uh, wooden plaque on each side and one plastic lock on each side. Point locks in the right direction and we can secure one side, just place it in. On those metal bolts there is a stopper so it's not gonna let you go deeper. Place it in and secure the lock. Okay wooden plugs on the side and bottom panel we can prepare it for the uh, side panel to come in so just prepare it all in plastic locks everywhere so once we put the side panel we are ready okay this is the side panel just place it in find the right holes you need to find all the holes on the top on the middle and on the bottom at the same time once you're in, you can tap it all in and secure it all the locks. There's gonna be two locks on the middle, one lock on each dividing panel at the bottom and two on the top. Secure with the two screws on the middle, two long screws going through the side panels to the middle panel and on the top exactly the same for the side panel to the middle panel, two long screws. You can start the other side, two slim dividing panels, just place them in and secure it with the plastic lock and we can position the other side panel, find the right holes first on the top, don't lock it yet, on the middle, push it closer in and then on those two small slim dividing panels, once you're in you can press it all in, tap it in, 
make sure everything is lining up nicely and you can secure it with the locks one lock on the slim ones two on the middle and two on the top just twist the locks and two long screws through the side panel on the middle and exactly the same on the top two long screws through the side panel to the dividing top panel this is triangle shape uh, brackets which is very good so you're gonna give extra support at the bottom plus they're gonna hold the adjustable leg so if you have uneven floors that help that's the legs so just secure the brackets with the screws and place the legs in there is a four screws in each bracket back a back panel for the wardrobe first one side it's gonna be two of them just place it in it's quite hard so take your time here make sure everything is li lining up nicely second one slide it in till the top make sure you ride on the top at the bottom you should lining up with those slim dividing panels check the wardrobe if it's in the right position 90 degree each corner and secure the wardrobe there is the screws on the middle you have pre-drilled holes in the back panel and the plastics with the small screws on the side at the bottom as well pretty little holes just screws through the back panel to the dividing panel place the plastics that's gonna secure the wardrobe around and on the top and secure the screw there is a small screw on each one secure it all in take your time here this is the middle brackets that's gonna secure the two back panels together so just go when the back panels are connected and secure it the bracket with the screw on the middle divide them equally all along the middle and you can position the wall rope where you want it lift it up it's quite big but still quite easy to slide in this case we have a carpet so it wasn't that bad can prepare the doors there's gonna be four hinges on each door two bottom ones two top ones this is the top they come in without the wheels and this is bottom hinge you can see the hinge have a small wheel so that's the bottom ones top ones are without the wheels each hinge have two screws just secure them in this is the bottom hinge see the white wheel Secure it with the two screws on each inch. And we can put the doors in. We're starting with the inner side. Just place it in in the rail, in the plastic rail which we did earlier. Press, press it in and slide the door in. It's quite hard, but you need a bit of patience for this operation. Press it in and push the door in. Once you're in the rail, push it up and lock it in place make sure you lock it in place otherwise the door is gonna come out okay slide them in if everything's sliding nicely and easy you did the right thing this is the outer side so the place them in a front rail bottom sliding nicely press it in one side another side at the same time and press it in the in the rail in a plastic rail once you're in just push it push the lock up and it should lock it in in the rail so the doors not gonna come out make sure you do this otherwise the doors gonna come on the top of your head and okay, this is just a rubber plugs that prevent the doors against slamming and we can do the door handles place the door handle and secure it with the two screws from inside same on the other side door handle and secure it with the two screws you're gonna have two hanging rails one on each side so you can, and uh, one shelf on each side with the three plastic plugs securing the shelf that's a hanging rail do exactly the same on the other side and position the shelf secure it with the screws there's three screws each plastic so exactly the same on the other side we're gonna have drawers this is the front panel for the drawer 
Each drawer have four screws, two on each side. Secure them in. Go till the stopper only, not deeper, no higher. Otherwise, you're gonna have problem with the side panels. This is the side panels for left, for right. Two wooden plugs on each side panel, and two plastic locks on each side panel for the drawer. Place them in. Make sure the arrow in, is in the right direction. Otherwise, we have a problem when you're gonna put them in. Exactly the same. The other four. So four left, four right. Don't forget. And we can place them in on in the front panel. We stop them in one side and the other side. Secure the locks. There's two plastic locks on each side. Just twist the lock and secure the side panels. So the bottom panel for the drawer. We're gonna have four drawers, so four bottom panels. And this is the back panels. Let's place them in. Secure it with two plastic plaques on each side. So there's gonna be four plastic plaques for each drawer. Just place them in. Hammer it down all. Secure it. Make sure they're lining up nicely once you finish. Rails for the drawers. We're gonna have two rails on each side. So we start one side. Secure it with the three screws on each rail. Make sure the wheel is at the back, otherwise you're not gonna be able to slide them in. Exactly the same on the other side. Three screws in each rail and the wheel is at the back at this point. Plastic stickers on one side just to prevent the drawer against slamming. This is the middle support. Two screws at the bottom, one on the top. This is just prevention, so you can uh, you can load the drawer heavier, so it's supporting the drawer on the middle. Drawer handles, two screws through drawer handles and joining screws through inside the drawer. Place the, hinge, uh, place the door handle and secure with the two screws. It's a bit annoying, it's quite hard to get into those holes. But once you get in, just put them in through the holes and secure it with the joining screws. And we can position the drawers two at the bottom. If you need to adjust the legs, you can just uh, unscrew them, depend on your floor. And that's it. The water is done. Hey, this is it, I can try some water. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Made my day. <laughs> See you in my next one very, very soon. Have a beautiful day.